Okay, you're going to add an image by clicking the camera icon and you can pick an image from your folders or you can upload an image. I'm picking an image that I already uploaded here and you're going to add it to your blog at the top of the page. This image is 1200 by 630 and this is a good size as of 2019 for Facebook shares so it's a good image size to use for your blogs. You can change the image size by clicking these um, little icons here, making it small, um, full screen or extra wide like this. Uh, or you can click the one to one which basically makes it the same size as the image that you uploaded but confined to the measurements of your blog. Whatever you do, I recommend that you just be consistent. So whatever you, size you decide to use for your blog images, small or wide, or extra wide or original, just do the same thing for every single blog post. So just make sure that you do it the same for consistency's sake. This is how the image will look in your blog landing page. The image at the top of your blogs is automatically the cover image. But you can pick a custom cover image if you want to in your blogs. But automatically it's the top image in your blog. So if you want to add a video, you click the video icon and if you've uploaded a video to YouTube, like I did here, all you have to do is go to your YouTube channel and get the uh, share link, which is down here, grab this and put it into your blog right here. See, that's easy. But you can also upload a video to Wix. Click the video icon, add a video. And instead of pasting a link to a YouTube channel, you click upload video. Wix only allows you to upload a certain number of videos before they are going to start charging you for the space that this takes up. Uh, so I really recommend that you use a social media channel like YouTube because you get twice the traffic. But if you want to upload a video, this is how you would do it. You'd search for it in your folders and you'd upload it just like you would an image. You would then want to make sure that your images, sorry, that your videos aren't too large because again, your space is limited. Unless you're okay with paying Wix to host all of your videos, you'll want to make your videos small if you plan on uploading them to Wix. Uh, I can't tell you right now how many videos you'll be able to upload, but I believe there's a certain amount of space that they allow. You'll have to look into that. But I do believe they charge you for space after, uh, after you've used up a certain amount. So those are two ways to add videos to your blog, and it's really simple and straightforward. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the debugger tools for social media. There's one for Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. And the reason I'm showing you this is because when you share your blog to social media, social media is going to grab the cover image that you declare in your blog. But if you decide to change that cover image, um, you will have to go to the debugging tools and do something called scraping <laughs> to make sure that the social media channel has is going to grab the most current image that you're using. This only applies if you're going to change your, co your cover image after you publish your blog. So you'd paste the link to your blog right here in the Facebook debugger, and I'm giving you the links. And you just click debug, and what that will do is it's going to go and look for your blog and look for the cover image, and then it will show you a picture for how this looks. So this gives you also an idea of how your blog is going to look when it's shared in social media. So if you put text in the image, um, notice the white space around the image. You want to make sure that your text doesn't take up the whole thing or it doesn't get cut off if you decide to put text on your image. I also highly suggest that if you do put the title of your blog post on your image, also put the title on your blog like it is here in text. So. If you change your cover image after you've published your blog, make sure that you go into the debugging tools and uh, have a peek at how the image looks there. Just keep hitting the little debug button over and over again until you see the correct image show up. 
But again, you don't have to worry about these tools unless you change your cover image after you've published your blog. Now that doesn't happen very often, but if you do and you wonder why an old image is showing up on social media, this is why, this is what you have to do. You go to the debugging tools, put the link of your blog in and hit debug. So that's it.